can be absolutely terrifying to share your big dreams and goals. And that's why up until right now, I haven't put it out publicly that I've got this goal to sell 1 million copies of my first ever self-published book. And the only person that really knows that goal is my wife. Besides me is my wife. And I haven't put it out there to people. Maybe a couple of other people have talked about some of my big goals and dreams, but I wanna share with you four specific reasons why this is a vital goal for me, why this is an important goal for me, and why this is part of the big vision that I have for my life, for the way that I wanna show up and contribute in the world. And hopefully as you hear this message, you'll start to believe that dreaming bigger, creating a bigger vision is important for you too. And that sharing that vision that you have and sharing that big dream that you have will help you on your journey to tap into your greatest potential and achieve even more, to contribute even more than you ever could have imagined before. Well, first of all, the reason, before I share with you the four things that I have as my reasons for why I've set this massive goal, I gotta tell you that I've really been afraid of being rejected. The reason I haven't previously shared this big dream and this big goal is because I've been afraid of being judged negatively. I've been afraid to put it out there that I've got this dream to sell 1 million copies of my book when if you look at the average self-published author, on average, they're selling like a few hundred books, maybe a couple of thousand. Like to sell a few thousand books of a self-published book is big time. Frankly, when you look at the statistics, there are a tiny, 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 tiny group of people that sell a million or more copies or even hundreds of thousands of copies. And the vast majority of people sell like a few hundred or a few thousand copies. Like that would be a big deal. And so to say that I want to sell a million copies is not just this like lack of knowledge about what people can do in the book publishing and book selling space. Because I can tell you, I've done the research. Like there are very few people who sell even a hundred thousand copies, let alone a million or millions of copies of their book over a lifetime of the book being published and available to purchase. And so I realize, first of all, like let me acknowledge, I realize that this is a massive goal. This is like more massive than a massive goal because a massive goal would be to want to sell a hundred thousand copies, but this is a million copies. That's the goal that I have is to sell a million copies. And now your next question might be, JJ, how many have you sold today? Well, I'm roughly at 165. The last I checked, 165 copies. And so now you're probably even more so like, wait, you've sold 165 copies in four months and now you want to sell a million copies? Well, yes. And you'll understand why here in a moment as I share the four reasons. But I want to share with you this piece specifically about what I'm afraid of and why I haven't shared the goal because a million copies is like ridiculous, like lunatic style, ridiculous thinking about what's possible. But I do believe it's possible. I'm not making this number up randomly. It's not just one that sounds nice. There's specific intentionality around why I've set the goal where I've set it. And I know that if you're a big dreamer, if you're someone that wants to go after big goals and achieve amazing things and use your gifts and talents and your voice to inspire and encourage and empower other people to create content that can really help other humans to thrive in life, then you're going to face this similar mental obstacle. You're going to face this similar challenge, I imagine, of having big dreams and visions that you're keeping to yourself because you're afraid to share it with other people because you're afraid to look ridiculous. You're afraid to look egotistical or arrogant. Well, at least that's my case. I feel like if I share this vision or dream of wanting to sell a million copies of my book, then people will think I'm arrogant and egotistical. And like, who does JJ think he is to want to sell a million copies of his book? And it's scary to want to tell people that because it's not normal. It's just not normal. When you're a big dreamer, when you think big, when you've got a massive and exciting vision for what you're here to accomplish in your life and what you're here to do with your life, people might look at you a little bit crazy. They might look at you like you're wild and you're out there and you're not normal. And so I'm trying to set the standard that it's okay to put yourself out there. It's not only okay, it's vital for your success and it's vital for your ability to tap into your greatest potential to put your big dreams and goals and visions out there. And so let me share with you reason number one for why I'm putting out there my goal to accomplish to sell 1 million copies of my book, Attract Your Potential. Number one 
it expands my thinking. I can tell you that when I first wanted to write and publish this book, I kept telling myself that the big goal was going to be to just get it published and just put it out there. And yes, that is a big achievement. That's a great accomplishment. When you think that like over 80%, there have been all kinds of polls, but it tends to find, they tend to find that over 80% of people believe they have a book in them that they'd like to write someday. And it's like less than 1% of people that actually publish a book. So yes, it truly is a massive accomplishment and achievement to actually get a book published. Like, I don't want to knock myself. I truly want to encourage myself and remind myself that what I've done is is an accomplishment. And I should be proud of it. And I should be grateful for the fact that I've made it happen. And I should acknowledge myself for the fact that I made it happen. But that's not the end. The end is not to just publish a book. The end is what can the book do for people? What can the book do for humanity? How can this book truly empower and encourage and inspire other people? So I have to think bigger about what this book can do when I set a goal of selling 1 million copies around the world. And when I think about selling 1 million copies, that just that literally expands my mind to think about what's possible. And not just about what's possible, but It expands what I have to do to achieve that goal. It expands my thinking. And when it expands my thinking, it allows me to see more possibilities for pathways to move down to accomplish the goal, to make it happen. And so if you've got a big dream and a big goal, I'd encourage you to 10 exit or 100 exit or 1,000 exit to be bigger and bigger and bigger because as you start to think bigger and you expand your mind, that becomes the new normal for you. When you expand your mind beyond what you ever thought was possible, when you expand your thinking beyond what normal is or what average is, or what most people think is typical for what you're doing, then you automatically open yourself up to being a new person. You open yourself up to raising your frequency, your energy to a new level. You live at a new level. Your attitude goes to a new level. Your energy goes to a new level by expanding your thinking. The second reason I set this big goal is that a big goal like this will require me to become a next level version of myself. It will require that I develop certain skills to be able to make it happen. I've got to figure out how to market the book. I got to figure out how to tell people about the book. I got to figure out what's the messaging of the book. I got to figure out a lot of skills to develop to be able to reach 1 million people with this book. There are all kinds of things that I'm doing. I'm doing videos like this. I'm doing social media content. I'm creating a weekly email. I'm doing all kinds of things that I've got to figure out. I've got a website that's up and running. And now I'm excited to say I've got help with that. Thank you, Hezekiah. I've got an awesome friend who's helping me with the website, but there are all these other things like, okay, now I've got to develop the skill of communication with another person about my website and about things related to my book because it's not just me anymore. There are other people involved with this mission, which I'm really excited about, but it creates new levels of opportunities for me to step into and to reach new levels of who I have to become in order to accomplish this massive goal. And so if you've got big dreams and big goals and you start to think bigger, now you've got new skills that you're gonna have to develop to go to your next level. And that means you're gonna become another version of you, another next best version of you. And the more you can expand who you are, you can expand your skills and your capabilities. Now we're talking, man, now we're cooking, now we're talking personal development, personal growth that allows you to step into new capabilities to reach and serve more people. And when you become a new level of yourself, I believe, That is a fulfilling and meaningful process because it allows you to create more value in the world. And the third reason that I've got this goal to sell 1 million copies of my book, this vision, this compelling dream to sell 1 million copies of my book is that I truly believe this book can make a positive impact in the life of any individual who chooses to purchase it and read it. I truly, truly, truly am convinced that this book will be a catalyst of positive change for every person who reads it. Whether they read just a few pages or they read the entire book multiple times, I know that there's something in here for every person who reads it and it can make a difference. It will shift the way you think. It'll change the way you approach life. It'll help you to think differently about yourself, about your confidence. I know that this book can make a positive impact. It can inspire, it can encourage and empower people and equip people with better skills and mindset and thinking and attitude to create better lives. And so I know that if this book can truly make that kind of impact in someone's life, then why not get it to a million people? 
why not help 1 million people with this book? If I truly believe in what it can do for someone, why wouldn't I have a big dream and vision for getting it to even more people? And the fourth reason why I want to sell a million copies of my book is one that I've already alluded to, but I want to highlight it. I want to attract more of the right people to be on my team, whether that's friends or supporters or supporters or encouragers or people who truly just want to contribute to the mission that I'm on to inspire, empower, and encourage millions of people around the world, then that's what it's going to take is a big vision. People want to be a part of a big vision. People want to be excited by an exciting vision of the future. People want to be a part of something that's meaningful. People want to help anyone who's on a mission to do important, meaningful work in the world that truly can change lives. And I've already been so blessed to attract a friend of mine to want to help me with some aspects of this. And so I'm really grateful that this friend has said, you know what, JJ, I want to help you on your mission. And he believes in what we're doing with this book. And it just has brought me to a new level of excitement and joy and energy and gratitude. And frankly, a new level of vision for what's possible. Because I actually thought I'd be on this journey alone for quite a lot longer. Um, knowing that, you know, after you sell 165 books, it doesn't mean you have millions in the bank to hire people to be a part of your team. And so I'm just really grateful that my friend Hezekiah has said, you know what, JJ, I want to help you do what you do. I want to help you. I believe in your content. I believe in your message. And I believe you're doing positive things in the world. And your positive message needs to get out to more people. Like the vision that I have, the work that I'm doing has inspired him. It's excited him. And it's brought him. It's attracted him. Which is what this book is about. It's attracted him to want to help. And when you can create a vision that excites people and energizes people and gets people to say, I want to be a part of that. That's a game changer. And I think that if I would say, you know what, my only goal with this is to get 162 copies out maybe or like my only goal with this book is to publish it and put it out into the world and to have it live on Amazon and that's going to be a win for me and you know that's the extent of the vision that I have if that's all I had I wouldn't show up with the passion and the energy and the enthusiasm to create the content that I'm creating because the work the goal would have been done the vision would have been created but I'm here showing up making videos that hopefully are inspiring other people but certainly has inspired at least one person to say JJ, I want to help you on the mission. And so because I've had this big vision of I want to sell a million copies of this book, I've been putting in the work to make the YouTube videos, to make the social media posts, to keep talking about this book and to keep creating other content that I believe can support and help other people. And by doing that, I'm getting people like Hezekiah and maybe others along the way to say, I want to support the mission. I want to help get this content in front of more people to truly uplift and inspire and encourage more people with a message of positivity and hope that they can create extraordinary lives and they have the power to create great value in the world with their gifts and their talents and the skills that they're developing. And so I'm excited to sell a million copies of this book. I don't know if it's going to take a few years or several years or decades, but I can promise you that we will get there. There's no doubt in my mind because when you have a burning desire to make something happen, it will happen. As Paulo Coelho says in his book, The Alchemist, when you want something bad enough, the whole universe will conspire to make it happen. And I believe, my friend, if you've got a big dream of vision, an exciting vision that you want to create in your life, keep hanging on to that vision. Keep your fire burning. You will attract the right people if you keep doing the work and the whole universe will conspire to get your goal and your dream to become a reality if you just keep believing and you want it bad enough and you have a burning desire to make it happen. My friend, no matter what challenges and obstacles you are going through, just keep going. You can make it happen. I believe in you. I believe you can turn your dreams into reality. Just never freaking quit.